I bought a pair of dummy eggs for Buster um, that arrived this morning and I'm going to put them in her cage now and see um, how uh, she responds to them. I don't find them very realistic because they're not the right shape, not the right size and they have a line going through the waist. So um, I uh, don't know, we'll have to see how she responds to them. Basta! Basta! There are a couple of eggs! Your eggies! Here's your eggs! At least she won't be able to break them, she broke all the other eggs. So she can frolic around with them a bit and see what happens. This is all very exciting. At least it keeps her busy and happy. And I think the eggs seem to be less important than the fluff. Although I've given Buster the dummy eggs, she laid egg number 13 this morning. Uh, as you can see, I have uh, hard boiled it and mashed it up and I'm going to feed it back to her. Um, she seems to have eaten most of egg number 12, so it appears to be quite a good method of feeding something back into her uh, that she's lost through laying the eggs. At the moment, Pasta is sitting on one of the dummy eggs um, and I'm going to put the uh, boiled egg into a cage now, see what she will do. Pasta, have some eggy. Even though some people seem to find that their macaws that are a bit broody seem to be more um, defensive and uh, aggr aggressive maybe and protective, I found that Pasta is actually very, very friendly to me at the moment. I can stick my hand in and she lets me manipulate the real eggs and the dummy eggs and everything. So. Uh, She's actually really good with me and as you can see she seems to be enjoying her eggs so I'm going to leave all that in and I expect that by the end of the day I'll find that she's probably eaten most of it. So I'm quite glad that uh, someone gave me the idea to do this.